Good morning and welcome to The Waldock Way. I'm Jessica. Today's video is going to be a day in the life in collaboration with Christine from this homeschool house. So after you have finished watching our day in life, make sure you hop on over to her channel to see her day in life. Now you've probably already seen that we like a slow start to our day. We are night owls, we are not morning people, and we don't people well first thing in the morning. It is now 11.07. We have enjoyed our morning, we have gotten up, gotten ready for the day, done a few morning chores like making our bed, starting a load of laundry, that kind of thing. And now we are ready to officially start our day. So Kevin is going to go outside and do some yard work. He wants to mow the yard, trim the hedges and weed eat. And me and Emily are going to go ahead and sit down and start our day with our morning basket. Open the light blue egg. What's inside? All right, here you go. You want to open the light blue egg? Yes, please. Yep, the lighter of the two blue colored ones. And then tell me what's inside it. A cloth. Yeah, it's that, a beautiful cloth. that's the linen cloth. After Jesus died, a man named Joseph asked if he could bury him. There was a brave, loving thing for Joseph to do. Remember that the men who killed Jesus did not believe that he was the Son of God, but Joseph did believe, and he wanted Jesus to have a proper burial. Joseph knew that this might get him in trouble with the soldiers, but he was brave and asked for permission anyway. Joseph wrapped the body of Jesus in cloth and buried him in a tomb cut out of rock, like a shallow cave. Joseph then went away sad because Jesus was dead and he wondered what would happen next. Do you want to read about Shakespeare first or do you want to do a Mad Libs first? Mad Libs. Mad Libs. How did I know you would say that? All right, so today's Mad Lib is titled Act As You Like It, Act 2, Scene 7, Part 1. I need a noun. Let's see. Puzzle? Okay. Who was William Shakespeare? William Shakespeare, you probably know his name, even if you haven't read anything about him. He lived 450 years ago and wrote at least 35 plays and more than 150 poems. Many people think Shakespeare is the greatest playwright who ever lived. Which words or phrases were popularized by Shakespeare? So which of these words or phrases did he make popular? Wild goose chase, pride goes before a fall, one foul swoop, flumux, for goodness sake, and bated breath. So you can spin it if you want to see it and then put your book in the ones you think are true. And you can put more than one book if you think more than one thing is true. Those are the ones I think are true. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna flip it over exactly where it's at. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Ooh, the, we both got this one right and you got that one right. So the three phrases that he popularized were wild goose chase, bated breath, and for goodness sake. It is an absolutely gorgeous day outside. So we decided that we would stop right where we were and get outside and enjoy it. So Emily is playing outside and I'm gonna spend this time outside in the sunshine answering emails.
We are back inside. It is 1.37 and we are about to sit down to do Emily's what I call table time. It's kind of like the core of our homeschool um, or her core work. So normally we do any kind of worksheets that she has that need to be done at that point and then she is going to today do a teaching textbooks lesson which is her math and a lesson from Night Zookeeper which will be her language arts. Now today's video is actually sponsored by Night Zookeeper and it is sponsored by them because we love them so so much. Now if you guys have been around for a while you know that language arts and by language arts I mean the writing part of language arts has been a challenge with Emily for years. She is super creative and an amazing storyteller but to ask her to write anything is almost always a fight. She doesn't like to write. She will pick the fewest amount of letters so instead of saying something that would sound better in the story she will sacrifice that for a word that has less letters for her to write in it. And that has been a fight for as long as I can remember until we found Night Zookeeper. Because with Night Zookeeper she gets to type everything out versus being the one to actually be pinning it, her creative writing skills have soared. She has written over 20 stories this school year and over a thousand words. You guys, that never would have happened had she not been using Night Zookeeper. It has been phenomenal. Her creative writing has taken off and I'm absolutely loving it. It's a play-based program so she doesn't even realize how much she's learning most of the time and she looks forward to doing it anytime I tell her that Night Zookeeper is on the agenda for the day. I love writing so much just because of Night Zookeeper. It's so fun. People of the deeds to amounts of money. Now let me ask you a question. Which of these amounts is greater? Go ahead and click on the one that you think is greater. Good. The best way to do problems like this is to compare the numbers to the right of the decimal points to see which one is greater. Since 14 is greater than 12, we know that 0.14 dollars has to be greater than 0.12 dollars. It's Friday night and Friday night in our house means family night and Emily has selected for tonight to be a family game night. Family game nights for us, the only way that it makes everybody happy is we each pick a game and then we all bring it to the table. So we play a minimum of three games on family game night. If there's a tie, like we've each won one game, we'll play a tiebreaker normally. So when everybody brings a game to the table, we roll a dice. Whoever rolls the highest gets to play their game first because you can't argue with a dice. So it's just kind of a really great way to have a family game night and avoid all of the little tiffs that can happen. So it looks like tonight we are going to be playing Yahtzee, which is no surprise, it's always Kevin's pick. Out boxed for Emily and I picked Trekking the World. So those will be the three games that we play during our family game night. And we're having takeout pizza for dinner because nobody should have to cook on a Friday night.
Ooh, Ooh that's yeah. a 